Hello people, my name is Ferdy and in this video I will show you how you can highlight any word in your website using Elementor, global colors and a little bit of CSS. You can use this in the free version of Elementor and in the pro version. And let me show you how to achieve this result. So I have my website over here and I want to highlight this word. I want to highlight this word and I want to highlight some text over here. How can I do that? Well, first I go to Elementor, then I go to the site settings global colors and now I want to add a new color. So I click on add color and I call this one highlight. And I can give it any color. So let's choose a color that will stand out. This one purple. I click on save the changes and then I click on the eye over here. This is made with Elementor. What I will do, right mouse click somewhere on the page. I use Google Chrome. I click on inspect. And then I see this. I assume you totally understand what's going on over here. No, of course I don't. What you will need to do here at the right, at the styles, you need to scroll down until you see at least four colors below each other. Over here. I have a few extra. So you see primary, secondary text, etc. We just created one and that is this color over here. I want to copy that color. Right mouse click. Copy. I close this. Now I go to the customizer. I use the hello theme. You need to have a theme that can apply CSS. And if you use Elementor Pro, you can also add CSS by going to edit with Elementor. Site settings. Scroll down and here custom CSS. I go to additional CSS. I paste the code. Okay. Now we have this color. I need to hit enter twice in the beginning. And I want to give this a class and that class can be linked to any text in the website and that will give us the color. I'll show you exactly what I mean. So I need to give this a class and I need to start with a point. And then I give this a name and I call this one high light color. Now I need to do an opening brace, open brace. Automatically a closing one will also be added. I hit enter twice. Now I want to add a color over here. So color hit enter. V A R. Now I need to have an opening parentheses. Is it called like that? And now I now I copy this color, except for the these, those two. So I I paste it here. Okay, space, and then after the closing parentheses, I want to add a semicolon. Okay, great. Now something else. I want to add a font weight. So I say font dash weight. There it is. Bold semicolon. So this class highlight color, when I add this class to any place in the website, the font will become bold and the color will become the global color, which we have created already. So I copy this highlight color, publish, close, and now I can add this anywhere in the website. So I added the page with Elementor. Now I go to this title and I want to highlight the word websites. So here at we make websites before that starts, I do an opening angle bracket and I say span space. And now I want to give this a class, the class we just created class equals then two quotes, shift quote, quote, and then here I need to paste this highlight color. And now I do the other angle bracket. Okay. Oh, look at this. It's working. So you see everything after this span class <laughs> gets this color, but I only want to highlight websites. So I need to close it after websites. How do I do that? Opening or closing angle bracket forward slash. That means I will close this and then span closing. Voila. And now we have this, we make websites that generate customers. So it's highlighted with the CSS we have created. So what I will do, I will open this or copy this whole span area, copy. I go to another place over here. I go to the text. Let's see. We listen to your story. So before your story, I copied it. I paste this and then here for slash span close. Okay. What else in this text? I want to highlight a few things. So I go to the text of the text. So if there's something um, I want to highlight Los Angeles, paste it. 
And after that, I close it again. Like that. Maybe something else here below. Okay, also here. So, button, get in, touch, publish. Now, if I take a look at the website, this is purple, this over here, this over here, voila. Now, if I want to change this color on any place in the website, I go to Elementor, edit the page with Elementor. Then I go to the settings over here, to the global colors, and then this color, if I change it to another color, it changes over here, over here, over here, everywhere in the whole website. But wait, there's more. What you also can do, you can align this color with color one or with the primary color. How can we do that? Let's preview the changes. Right mouse click, inspect, scroll down until we see all those colors. And here I see E global primary, copy it. I go to the CSS or the customizer and then the additional CSS. And look at this. I will change this from the E to primary. So from this point on, I paste it and now this highlight is linked to the primary color. So look at this. I edit the page with Elementor. I go to the side settings, global colors. And now if I change this color, look at this. This one changes this one. So everything is aligned now. So this color, which I have over here, and over here and over here is linked with the primary color. So that makes it even easier to change things and colors in your website. So I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please like this video, feel free to subscribe for more upcoming Elementor and WordPress and websites and affiliate marketing and WooCommerce and my journey as a male model related subjects. And, um, you know, it's hard to be a model. Uh, I always want to be handsome. And since I found out I am, all the, all the attention and people wanting to be friends with me, not because of who I am, but because of my looks, it's, it's hard. Sorry. It's not fun to be good looking. Okay. <laughs> what is this? Subscribe for WordPress related tutorials and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.